going to go ahead and wash my hands. Hi, Terry. My name is Shoda. I'm going to be your nurse today. Doctor ordered for me to start an IV on you. Is that okay? Okay. Great. Can I have your name? Terry. Okay. And your date of birth? Awesome. Let me go ahead and grab my equipment. I'll be right back. Hi, Terry. So I'm going to go ahead and start an IV on you. For this, I need my gloves. You need alcohol wipes. You do need an IV start kit, needles, normal saline, and extension tubing. Okay. So at this point in time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up my IV start kit, take out my tourniquet. And at this point in time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for veins. Okay. okay. Uh, the idea is to look at both of the arms to find the best vein possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie the tourniquet. The correct way of tying a tourniquet is to actually put it over and make an X just like this. What you wanna do is you wanna hold on to your X. Hold on on one side while you're pulling on the other. And then hold on to this side while you're pulling on this side. And then the flop that's facing you gets tucked in. When you're tying your tourniquet, you have to be at least five fingers away from your IV site, and the flops need to be away from your IV site, so that way you do not contaminate your possible site, all right? So now that I have to tie my tourniquet, I'm gonna go and look for a vein. I do see a good one here, but I'm not gonna settle just yet. And the tourniquet needs to be a quick release, obviously. We'll go ahead and try the other arm as well. Same thing, make an X, hold on to one side, and then hold on to the other side and pull. The flop that's facing me is gonna get tucked in. Again, five fingers away. And I'm gonna go and look for a vein. I do see another one here, but you know what? I like the other one better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and again, release my tourniquet and set up to start an IV on the right arm. Sounds good? Yes. I'll be right back. Hi, Terry. So I'm going to go and start an IV on you, okay? okay? So what I'll do is I'll go and tie the tourniquet. I'll hold on on one side, pull on the other. Flop facing me goes away again. Needs to be at least five fingers away from your IV side. And uh, flops facing away needs to be a quick release as well, right? So I'm going to go and look for a vein. All right, so I've identified my vein. I'm gonna go ahead and release my tourniquet to get my equipment ready. Okay, so at this point in time, I will go ahead and open up my extension tubing. What I like to do is I would like to, uh, I like creating a work area, kind of like a barrier. Starting an IV is a clean procedure. All right, so I will go ahead and take off the normal saline, go ahead and check the expiration connected to my extension tubing. Okay, and I'm gonna go and prime. Right, I'll go and take this off, just like this. Okay, I'll go and place my gauze here. I'll go and place my tegaderm right over here, along with my alcohol, All right? I'll go and take out my needle one thing that you don't want to do when you're taking out your needle immediately when you open. I'm going to go ahead and open it and inspect the needle, make sure it's intact. Then I'll go ahead and place it here just like this. All right, and then I need to get my tape ready. One thing you want to do is you want to make sure when you're starting an IV, all your supplies are on your, are on your dominant side because when dealing with needles or sharps, you do not want to cross hands. So all the equipment is going to be on our right hand side. At this point in time, what I'll do is I'll, I will go ahead and grab my alcohol. What you want to do is you want to start in the middle in a circular motion, work your way out. When you work your way out, you do not want to come back in. You do want, not want to go crisscross. Rather, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and start in the middle. 
and in a circular motion, work my way out. And then let it dry. Don't fan on it, don't blow on it. Just kind of just let it dry on its own. Now that it's dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and tie my tourniquet at least five fingers away from my IV site. And it again, as I mentioned before, it needs to be a quick release. I will go ahead and pull on one side, pull on the other side, flops away from the IV site again. Now I'm ready to start my IV. What you wanna do, a correct way of holding a needle isn't this way so that way what you can do these two fingers will stabilize your needle your index finger will go ahead and advance the catheter okay all right all right so what i'm going to do is another key point to remember when you're starting an iv do not move your non-dominant hand until you advance your catheter all right so as you're going in bevel needs to be up Right? If it's a deeper vein, you're gonna go about 30 to 35 degree angle. If it's a shallow vein, then you will go about 10 to 15 degree angle. For me, this is a deeper vein, so I will go about 30 to 35 degree angle. Again, do not move your non-dominant hand, finger, until you advance the catheter. Right, so I'm gonna go and go in. When you're going in, you're gonna feel resistance, resistance, and then you're gonna feel no resistance. When you are inside of the vein, what you will see is you will see blood return right over here. Okay, and also inside the catheter right here. So if you do see blood return, what you want to do is you want to stop, lower the angle, advance just a little bit more. Hold your needle in place as you advance your catheter. Keeping your needle in place, what you want to do is you want to let go of your non-dominant hand. You want to release your tourniquet. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and release my tourniquet. I will go ahead and apply pressure. As you take out your needle, you need to press the white button to retract the needle. And immediately it goes into the sharps container. What I will do is I will grab my extension tubing, connect it, okay? I will hold, let go of this finger to let the blood flow and I will flush immediately to confirm my IV placement. And I, at this point in time, I will assess my patient. Terry, are you feeling any kind of pain? No. No? That's awesome. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to go and secure my line. Make sure when you're placing a tape, you do not place the tape over the insertion side. Now that my IV line is secured, what I will do is I will grab my tegaderm. I will go and take this off. I'll go ahead and place it on my IV side to secure it. At this point in time, what you want to do is you want to put your initial, put today's date and gauge. This is a 22 gauge. So again, would be my initial, today's date and the gauge. I will go and take this off. Place it right over here. Go ahead and clamp my IV site just like this. and remove the normal saline. Task complete.